had Greek upbringings because of his families. So they wasn't allowed to beat him. They legally they couldn't beat him. They're not what they weren't supposed to beat him by their own law. So he could float in between two. But because he kept saying, I want to go appeal to Caesar, that's why they had to kill him. That's why he ended up getting beheaded, because he appealed to the highest court in law in Rome. And he could have easily said, I don't want to appeal to Caesar. He could have did whatever time he had to do and been gone free. But he just kept pressing the issue almost like Stephen. He kept appealing, and then they knew, like, to Caesar you go. When you get to Caesar, Caesar's going to have you beheaded. And he was like, let's go. He understood that's what he was called to do. And God may not be, you know, I'm not, I don't like preaching that too hard because some people are scared. They, oh, we're going, so I'm not going to do it. Shut up. So Paul, as a result of this sacrifice, he is the author of the, of the large, large part of the New Testament. And Paul's end, end of his life could be found, and we're going to read that and we're done, could be found in 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 8. That's the end of his life, earthly life. We're reading about him now, so the end of his life. Um, and it's an amazing story. And God had me choose him. There's so many people I could have chose, actually, to preach conversion on. And, and anytime you get into a stupor or a place in your life where you feel like you're struggling, read about somebody's conversion. And there's, there's everybody in there, from women to men who got converted and was used by God to, to be. And I believe you're in there. So 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 8, in closing, it says, Therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus. Uh, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So we're called to do. Verse 3, he's talking to Timothy. This is Paul talking to Timothy, one of the people that he was training. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. You hear that? Endure. That's a good word. I, I use that word often. When stuff get hard, I just speak to myself and minister to myself. I say, Sean, endure. You know, endure for your family. Endure for your loved ones. Just endure. Just quit crying and endure. No matter how bad it, just endure. And it says, no man that war entangled himself with the affairs of this life. Don't get caught up in the stuff this world is doing. It's time for us to let that homosexual stuff go. The chips fall where they may. They know who you are on Facebook, so if they want to get saved, they'll ask you what must I do to be saved. So no man wharf entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Verse 5, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. Too long to explain that. Verse 6, the husbandmen that labor must first be partaker of the, fruit, the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. God will give you understanding in all things. Okay, I just read all that, and it was the exactly wrong scripture. I was going to say, I'm like, I'm like. Well, that's, it's, it's, that's where I was at, but I wasn't at. Oh, okay. Here's Paul's end. <laughs> Good thing we was talking about Paul, or else I would have been a, really, a real donkey. Verse 4, 1 through 8. Why don't you get me? I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, approve, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For a time will come when they will not endure, hey, there's a word again, sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. In other words, preachers who tell you what you want to hear so you feel good. Verse 4, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. I don't want to hear the truth. I just want to marry Bob. And shall be turned into fables. You know what a fable is. Uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill. Anyway, verse 5, here it is. But watch thou in all things. Endure. Here's that word again. Third time. Third time. That's a charm. Endure afflictions. Here was what we do. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered up. Paul saying, I'm about to die. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Finally, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord of righteous shall judge and give me in that day, and not only me, but unto all them that love his appearing. Amen. So, so we have a crown waiting for us when Amen. we... I don't even know why I wrote down so much stuff I should not I wasn't going to get through all this without preaching all day and I don't believe in that people only take so much so 
There it is. We must be converted. Amen. Flat out. And I mean, I'll, the, the easiest way to, to say is when God showed me the closing prayer that I'm about to do is that as hard as it is, you need to turn your brain off. Because our brain is like a computer and it holds stuff. And even stuff, there's stuff, even on the computers I work on, there's stuff that's in my computers that it's on hard drives that even just because you delete it, it doesn't go nowhere. That's why if the federal government was to bust into you, to your phone, they can see stuff you did when you first got on your phone, who you talked to, whatever. You may have think you deleted it, but it's still there. You know what? Because we're, the, we're in this body. We're in the flesh. We live in this thing in our mind. Every last person can tell you something horrible that happened to them. Everybody. Because for some reason, we never forget that stuff. And I kind of like what you hate it. I do. I hate it. I hate the fact that there's some things I want to forget that I can't forget. But then when I prayed and asked God, I said, why is it? He said, I want you in these, some form to remember where I brought you from. Because you don't want to go back to that. And this will remind you what you need to do to continue to be converted. So I believe in my heart that God leaves just enough there to help us realize that we need to keep enduring and keep pressing. And in closing, let us pray. Father, I just ask and pray that you convert our eyes. You convert our nose that we smell what you want us to smell. You convert our eyes that we perceive and see what you want us to see. You convert our ears that we can hear and have a clear understanding. Convert our heart that will be soft and receive the word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, and that we will not sin against you. Convert our mind that we will have the mind of Jesus Christ. Convert in the name of Jesus our speech that when we speak, Father God, we speak with the power and boldness of the word. Even if we don't fully understand it, that we only speak your word, not our opinion. Father God, I thank and praise you that you're a man that cannot lie on the son of man that you, can re you should repent everything you said you were going to do, and we eagerly expect it and wait for it. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.